Today in Draw My Life, the last episode of Dexter's Laboratory. Dexter's Laboratory is one of the most legendary shows of our childhood. Being one of the first Cartoon Network series, it quickly became the real deal. Let's face it, everyone loves the little genius Dexter. I mean, look at that cutie. Unfortunately, what few know is that in 1997, what seemed to be a draft of the episode Figure Not Included from the second season was leaked. I was one of the lucky ones who watched the broadcast. Well, lucky is not the right word. Anyway, I'll tell you everything that happened in that strange episode. In the first scene, the three members of the Major Glory gang were playing and having fun with the Major Glory action figure. While they were laughing, little Dexter showed up wanting to join the gang and play with them. But not so fast! To join them, he had to have a Major Glory figure. Dexter proudly pulled out his version of the Major Glory doll, cut out of a cereal box. The other three laughed their heads off and mocked him, bragging about their figures. Dexter then returned home, sad and disappointed. He ran into his mother in the kitchen and politely asked her for money. The mom quickly agrees to give it as his birthday present. It looked like Dexter won't have his action figure for quite a while. Dexter, depressed, goes to his lab and his annoying sister, Dee Dee, shows up and makes fun of his cardboard doll. She then runs off dancing and laughing, making fun of her brother because he's incapable of making a decent action figure on his own. That's when Dexter comes up with the idea of making himself a major glory with real powers. Dexter grabbed some tools, designed a machine capable of creating the ultimate action figure, and got to business. Meanwhile, Dee Dee was jumping and dancing while humming to a song. She accidentally pressed on a button on the dashboard, which turned on the ray his brother was working on. Thus, the machine got switched on and electrocuted his brother with the gamma rays. Dexter began to scream as the radioactive waves burned his skin. His limbs twisted and his bones grew widely until his screams of pain deceased. A black cloud of smoke rose and a loud bang was heard. Dee Dee screamed in fear at the sight of the atrocity her brother had mutated into. She reached the smoke, but all she found was a huge hole in the wall. In the next scene, the three major Glory Gang kids were playing in the park with their action figures. One of them mentioned that it was already dark and it was time to go home. The other two mocked him, calling him a wuss. Suddenly, they were silenced as they felt a strong, icy breeze blow past. They heard the branches of a tree move. From a bush, a huge shadow emerged. What I saw that day is an image I still can't erase from my mind. Dexter came out of a cloud of smoke and wasn't that adorable little genius he has always been. His teeth were small and gaped. His skin was black and blistered from the burns. His limbs stuck out from his body and his eyes were huge. It had mutated into some sort of major glory monster. You can imagine how traumatic it was to see my favorite character turned into something so hideous. The other three children screamed in terror and froze as this abomination ran to them. Dexter asked them ironically, Now I've become Major Glory. Can I be part of the gang? The tallest of the children knelt and begged Dexter for forgiveness. Dexter laughed and grabbed him with one hand. He growled at him, ripped his legs off and left him bleeding on the floor. The rest of the group ran for their lives and Dexter ran after them. One hid behind a bush and seemed to have outsmarted the beast. A few seconds passed and there was absolute silence, only the gasping of the child. Suddenly, a boy's cries could be heard in the distance and boom! Blood splashed onto the screen and the screen completely turned to red. For a few seconds, the dead child's face appeared. The episode went back to normal and I saw the third boy still running, not looking back. He made it to the nearest house and knocked on the door desperately, hoping someone was inside. A few seconds passed and no one seemed to show any signs of life. Heavy footsteps began to be heard as they came louder and louder. The boy continued knocking on the door like crazy. The footsteps were getting closer and closer. Dexter came to the house and walked up to the boy. His mouth was dripping with blood. What do you think you're doing, you coward? The boy began to cry and kept knocking on the door. 
Dexter grabbed him by the head and started slamming him against the door until... Oh, the image was so disturbing, I'd rather not go into details. After the bloody scene, Dee Dee opened the door and looked speechless. Dexter stared at her and got filled with rage. You! Dexter growled and reached out to her. But right on that time, Mandark appeared riding a huge steel machine. Don't you dare to touch her! Dexter gets even more annoyed and throws a punch in his face. Mandark managed to dodge it and ask him to calm down. But then Dexter yelled at him. Don't tell me to calm down! He threw another punch, and this time, he successfully hit him in the face. Mandark rose from the blow and fell to the ground. From the floor, he pulled Dexter's leg and fell. Quickly, Mandark jumped on top of him and started punching him with all his might. Blood began to splatter, and Dexter's screams could be heard. After a couple of punches, Dexter began to enjoy the pain and smiled. Mandark was taken aback. Dexter seized the moment to dive in, grabbed Mandar by the head with both hands and started squeezing it hard. Mandar began to scream and there was a crunching sound. Dee Dee intervened just in time and begged her brother to stop. Dexter, consumed with anger, looked at her sister and took mercy on her. He dropped Mandar to the ground and came close to her. Dee Dee, crying, told him that this one he would never do. Dexter became smaller and began to transform to his regular size. After all, the experiment was wearing off. Dexter was as he has always been. Dee Dee went and hugged her brother. It's all right, it's all right, she told her little brother. Dexter, trying to deal with what he had done, cried and apologized to his sister. Suddenly, Mander's mechanical robot foot appeared and crushed Dexter. Blood splattered on Dee Dee's face and screams, No! What have you done? Mandark looked at her and said, Sooner or later he was going to hurt you. I did it for you. Dee Dee yelled at him to leave and that she wanted nothing to do with him. The screen stuck on the scene like a broken record until it turned black after a few seconds. I promise you that I've searched everywhere for this episode, but I have never been able to find it. The only thing that I found is that in the same year, one of the creative directors of Cartoon Network was fired. Apparently, he was kicked out because of creative differences with the executives. Since it's such an old cartoon, I guess this episode will soon be history. Even though no one believes me, every time I tell the story, I still have vivid flashbacks. So I'm trying to find someone who also has watched the airing. For those of you who haven't and somehow came across this episode, I warn you not to watch it. And you, what do you miss about this iconic show? Let us know in the comments what other TV series you would like us to make a creepy. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one.